Do y'all see what time it is? Do y'all see what time? It's freaking 559. I did it. I finally woke up at six o'clock. Oh, y'all do not understand. I have been saying I'm gonna wake up at six o'clock for like the past four or five months. I even have it set on my alarm. My alarm goes off at six. I cut that bad boy off and I go back to sleep. I finally got up at six o'clock. I feel so accomplished. I'm out of my bed. My feet are on the floor. It's just clock. I'm really trying to be a morning person. I cannot stand getting up in the morning, but I love getting up in the morning. I'm going to change my whole mind frame. I love getting up in the morning. I love being in control of my day. I am in control of my day. I am up, taking control. First thing I do when I wake up, when I say I literally just got up, rolled out of the bed, and sat on the floor and cut on this camera, <laughs> all raw, <laughs> all real, <laughs> real time, no play games, okay? I get this book, and I like to do this before I even get out of the bed, when I was up at 7 or 8 or whatever. This book stay right beside my bed, and I like to roll over, and I like to grab it and do it before my feet hit the floor. But it's okay. Protect your peace. So this book has multiple... Let me go to a blank page. So it's a morning reflection, uh, goals for today and what I'm looking forward to today. And then in the afternoon, when I come home later on, is so I'm grateful for the best part of my day I am currently feeling and then my self-care plan. So on this page, come on y'all, come do it with me. Today's affirmations. I just normally write down whatever I'm feeling for today. Right now, I'm feeling encouraged. I feel good. I am motivated. I am freaking beautiful. No face wash or nothing. Just rolled out of the bed. So, I'm going to write all that on my affirmations, okay? goals for today let me see i'm going to work today i always like to write down an estimate of how much i want to make for the day and once i reach it i'll be ready to go home y'all know um i do i'm a massage therapist and i do nails so i don't really know how my day's gonna go but when i write down how much i want to make i pretty much manifest that and i pretty much always make that so today i'm going to go for 200 and we're going to revisit this later on so today I'm going to say 200 is a goal. I need to um, pay some bills. Do so I have anything else important to do? Edit my YouTube video and post. Edit and post video. I'm going to say by 7 p.m. Today I'm looking forward to just having a calm day. I'm looking forward to having a controlled day. I want my whole day to just be smooth and controlled. Um, God bless my day. Anything that's outside of my control, I give it to you. So once I do this, y'all, I like to go back and read this out loud. And I like to read them out loud from all the previous days before. So I'm going to do that first. I'll let y'all hear a little bit. I am beautiful. I am a winner. I am healed. I am a child of God. I am at peace. I am wealthy. I am okay. I am okay. I am okay. I like myself. I like myself. I like myself. I am a winner. I won. I conquered. I survived. I am a child of God. I am healed. I am successful. I am wealthy. I am loving. I am a child of God. I am healthy. I am her. Now I'm just going to do a quick prayer. Um, I don't mind y'all being with me praying this morning. Just a quick, simple prayer. Father God, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thou kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine in the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Father God, I come to you this morning humble, grateful, and thankful, Lord. I thank you for waking me up this morning, Father God. I thank you so much for every person who's viewing this video right now, oh God. 
Anybody who needs a prayer needs to be uplifted, Father God. Anybody who's dealing with any struggle right now in life, Father God. Anybody who's suffering right now, Father God. I ask that you touch us, oh God. Touch us with your healing hand. Touch us with your healing power and your healing spirit, Father God. I don't want to come to you asking you for much or begging you for much, Father. I just want to thank you for everything that I have right now, oh God. Everything that you have equipped me with right now today, Lord. I just want to say thank you for the roof over my head, the clothes on my back, the smile on my face, the joy that's in my heart, Father God. I just want to say thank you for the bed that I sleep in, the children that are safe and sound, God. It has been hard for me lately, Jesus, but you have been getting me through every step, God. You have been with me every step. I thank you so much for your Holy Spirit still being with me, Father God. I pray that I never lose your spirit, oh God, and your guidance, Father God. To be close to you, Father God, is all I desire right now, Lord. You know my, my wants, you know my needs. I don't want to bother you with them. I just want to say thank you for everything that I have right now, Father God. Thank you for keeping me in my right mind. And I pray that you bless every viewer, oh God, who's living and walking accordingly to your will, oh God, or who's at least acknowledged you and who is aiming and striving, Father God, to be obedient to you and your will, God. Give us all a sound mind, a peaceful mind, oh God, to move forward and to do the things that you have called us to do on this earth. In your name, I pray this prayer. Amen. Okay, y'all, it's time to eat some peanuts. Something you don't know about me. I would personally take about two or three, sometimes four freaking baths a day. Y'all last night, I won't bathe right now. I'm gonna go to my cleaning job. I'm gonna come home and take a shower. Then I'm gonna go to my massage and nail job. When I finish that, I done been rubbing bodies and stuff. I gotta come home and take a shower. Then I go to the gym. And then I gotta come home and take a shower. So today it's gonna be at least three. So it just depends on what I'm doing for my day. So today is definitely gonna be three. So right now I'm good, but when I come back from cleaning up, I'm gonna hop in the shower. But for now, let's go. But I'm gonna wake my son up. He said he's gonna come to work with me today. So let's see. <gasps> Look who's up. You ready to go to work? Okay, he says he's coming, so I'm gonna some water for him to shower. Then I eat on my 15 year old's hair. It's not done all the way, y'all. We got just a tiny bit left to do, so she just picked it up. She gonna be sitting on this hair all day. <laughs> then I eat with it. It's so gorgeous, period. Okay, you have a blessed day, okay, beautiful? Okay. I'm excited, let's get it. I'm gonna drop off my 15 year old at the bus stop. Take my handsome boy with me to work in school. We got up at six. We did it, son. Awesome job. Let's go. So y'all know I come and clean up like uh, commercial buildings, and I do that, and then I go home and get ready to go to my second spot. So that's where we at. Let's get into it. Starbucks after work, got him some breakfast.
still waiting on my sweetheart to hurry up so I can get her to school. She don't want to hurry. Hurry up. Me and Zuri are up and out because somebody missed the bus today. But it's all good because mommy is around to take you to school. You woke me up late. I woke you up late. You woke me up this morning. I do have to wake her up every morning. See, I got to get used to the change in my routine. I got up at 6 o'clock. Do I need to get up at 5 30? It's giving not going to happen. So I got to figure out another system tomorrow, but we did also. She's going to be about 30 minutes late to school today, but no, I'll figure it out tomorrow. My favorite period. What's your favorite period? First period. What is it? Gym. She's like, come on, she like to work. No, she got pink pool. Not too much. Not too much on me. I do have a pimple. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Beyond kids, y'all. I went to work and did a few clients, and me and my two co workers decided to go to Kiki's. Yes, okay, y'all. I made it back home. I got dressed, I had work or whatever. I got dressed to go to my daughter's track game, but it got canceled because it looked like it's gonna rain. But that's all good. Um, it's about five o'clock. I'm not cooking dinner some nights. Everybody got to fend for themselves. Tonight is one of those nights we're equipped with fully groceries, okay. Um, so I'm going to go back to my book to reflect. Today, I am grateful for um, God's presence. God's presence was there, and that was beautiful. Um, the best part of my day was the whole day. Overall, I had a great day. Um, I am currently feeling... Oh, how do I feel? I'm calm. I feel calm. When I started my day off, I said I wanted a calm, controlled day. I did have that. So overall, I did have my calm day. I had a 30-minute moment, <laughs> which is normal, but I did have a 30-minute moment. Um, so yeah, I had a calm day. It was it was pretty controlled. It was. It was good. It was a good day. It was a good control day. My self-care plan today, I'm just going to meditate later on, and I'm going to pray, and um, that's it. Finish my daughter's hair, and that's that was my day. That was my day. Other than the five hours y'all didn't see me work, that was my day. So, thank y'all for watching this video. If y'all want more content like this, let me know, and I'm going to drop it. I'm adjusting. I'm trying to adjust to this... Um, to everything. I'm trying to adjust to life right now. Bye.